there are three things we need to uh, uh, have a closely uh, close look at it. First is the nuclear one, the nuclear one, mm -hmm. uh, nuclear proliferation, possession of nuclear weapons by DPRK, which is opposed by the whole international community, represented by the Security Council. China opposes it, opposes it U.S., Russia, everybody on the Security Council opposes the uh, proliferation of nuclear weapons. This is against the letter and the spirit of, of NPT. So that issue has, be, has to be addressed. Okay. Uh, for that, China has proposed a, a parallel suspension as a temporary measure. You know, DPRK suspend whatever it is doing with uh, missile testing, nuclear testing, while on the same time, uh, ROK and the U.S. stop uh, their military exercises, etc. So, so as to create conditions for further negotiation. Uh, that is the first issue, the nuclear one. But it's a much larger one. What we are seeing, uh, what is happening in, in Korean Peninsula has a much larger background, uh, longer history. Uh, the second issue is uh, more about regional security because uh, Korea Peninsula is, is the only region where uh, there is a suspension of war. War, uh, in, in legal terms, is still there. Mm -hmm. There are the parties between the war, they have reached arms treaties, but uh, the war is still there. So regional security issue has been troubling all of us. Uh, for, for several decades, uh, we have seen large scale or ever larger scale military exercises along the coast of China, DPRK, you know, in, in, in that region, which I would say uh, is one of the reasons why DPRK feels so insecure you know, as an as a, as a isolated small nation. Uh, you can understand. It, feel, it feels very much insecure. And out of that insecurity, it comes up, comes up with some measures to counter or to reduce that insecurity. Of course, whatever they come up with, uh, nuclear option is not an option they should have. They should go for negotiation, they should go for integration into the international community, they should go for uh, negotiate the solution with, with other countries, especially with the United States. Here lies uh, the raison d'etre, I, I, I will say the reason why China has repeatedly saying this is an issue between, between TPRK and the United States because nuclear uh, development or the option DPRK pursues for nuclear possession, nuclear weapon, weaponization is out of this insecurity. And that insecurity comes from the hostility that has never been stopped, uh, that has been going on, on and on between DPRK and the United States, or the I mean, military alliances led by the United States. The third issue, even larger, involves a, a strategic parity or strategic balance between major powers. We can see clearly uh, in East Asia, or for that matter, Asia as a whole, uh, there, there has been roughly a strategic parity or strategic balance between China, US, Russia. And the major powers, mm -hmm. since the Second, Second World War, since the Korean War, uh, to say literally, they have reached a strategic balance. That is the basis for, for, for maintaining roughly a, a several decades of peace in this region. Uh, but in the last 10, 20 years, we have seen trends, we have seen signs that the United States is not uh, uh, content with that balance. I mean, they are, uh, in particular, the efforts to build 
uh, advanced missile defense systems in East Asia. Not only thinking about it, but deployment of such a system, which definitely, as, as we have talked about in the past, uh, will impact negatively on the strategic parity or strategic balance among the three major powers involved. And it will also entail uh, consequences that possibly uh, countries like Japan, South Korea will pursue on their own independently the nuclear option. So here you can see nuclear issue, regional security issue, and also a major power strategic balance issue. These three issues need to combine and considered as a package, as a package. Mm -hmm. The Security Council now is addressing the issue only about the nuclear one. Uh, personally, I think, I, I believe we need to put security element into the picture mm -hmm. because only when you are able to find a solution to secure the region, to find the security for the region, for the Korean Peninsula, can we have a foundation to address the nuclear issue?